It's been an amazing year for the Pies so far. It's your second season. How are you finding it all? Yeah, no, we're going really well. Um, yeah, compared to last year, I, I'm really competitive, so I hate losing. So, um, yeah, this year's been really good um, winning. And, yeah, hopefully we can win on the weekend and just keep winning. And I'm really excited, hopefully, to play finals and go as deep as you can. Yeah, it's been unbelievable. Um, how have you found the changes down at the club? Uh, obviously, McRae's come in, Buckley's gone out. So how's the sort of mood and vibe down at the footy club? Because it's looking like you guys are absolutely loving life. Yeah, it's really the mood's really good. The vibes, vibes are up. When you're winning, you know, mm. um, everyone's pretty happy. And no one really expected us to go well. And I don't know even know if we expected to go that well. So, um, yeah, we're sort of just playing it week by week. And, um, yeah, we're really excited to see what happens and... It, it seems like to me Buckley's the sort of coach that you – or like a high school teacher that you respect. Like they're really stern and authoritative, but you, you don't want to get on their bad side so you respect him. <laughs> but then Craig McRae seems like the real fun type of uh, PE teacher who you don't want to make must, uh, disappoint because he's just such a happy guy. <laughs> yeah. Is that a fair sort of judgment? Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> me, me and Bucks has, haven't really had that much to do with each other just because – I wasn't ready to play AFL when he was yeah, there, right. and mm. um, yeah, he, he didn't. Really, he never coached me, so um, into a game, I guess. So, but yeah, Fly's a very interesting character. We love Fly. He's just yeah, he's always happy and bubbly, and that really makes the group shine. I think that young crop down there as well, like. They had a bit of a transition a couple of years ago, the Pies, where they blooded a lot of youth, and I reckon you would have been in one of those drafts. But it just seems like the whole team's filled with like young, exciting 19, 20-year-olds. Yeah, the teams, we have a good <laughs> demographic of age, I guess. We have some really good leaders, as you could tell, like Pendles and Sidey and um, the old guys that are looking after us. And then, yeah, like you said, the, the young guys, me, Nick, um, Bo, Ollie, yeah, there's a few reefs injured, but yeah, there's, there's heaps coming through, which is mm. really good, and you need that for the next years to come as well. Yeah, exciting times for Pies fans. They knocked off the Ds, knocked over, off the Blues. So the guys are right, boys. Yeah, <laughs> little, absolutely. A little bit gutted. It, it's hard to talk about your season this year, personally, without talking about uh, the main man himself, Kane Corns. <laughs> Come um, on, Z. <laughs> how, how did you find that challenge of being all the chatter on the Sunday footy shows and the SCNs? You've clearly responded to it brilliantly, but how were you in that moment? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I love Kane Corns now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, at the, at the start, like, you, you don't even know what, what you're doing. You've played six games, you've been handed a GoPro and you're just living in the moment and you're, yeah, you're 19 and you say light work and you don't really think that, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. that it's going to be that big of an issue yeah. until, um, yeah, it comes up and I don't know. I've, yeah, it's been a bit of a challenge, at, yeah, at the start and then um, I sort of just tried to let my footy do the talking and um, once you're playing good footy, you no know, one really yeah. can knock you out. <laughs> so, so how did you... Uh, did, did you have a plan on how to handle it? Because it's obviously very intense and the media scrutiny, I think at Collingwood, it's probably the one club where they get like tenfold the media scrutiny than any other club. Uh, so when uh, there was articles and whatnot and Kane Corns is hopping on, on board, did you have a plan of how to handle it or did you just, as you said, go back to your footy? Yeah, the, I guess there was a little bit of a plan. I, I love like... I'm a phone addict. Like I go on my phone. Um, you know, I, I, used, to, all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love going through and looking at articles of people who's playing well. I'm a massive footy enough before I got drafted. Probably yeah. not anymore, but um, yeah, I had to probably get off my phone a little bit more than mm. I would have liked. And um, yeah, my friends knowing that you can't like at the start, it's cool. You're in the media. Like they send yeah. it, Oh, you're in the media. Yeah. But um, yeah, my friends learning that it's not, um, as simple as yeah, you're getting a, getting attention and stuff. It, it actually has effects on your mental health when it's very of serious. But um, yeah, it's sort of just like I said before. Yeah, sort of just have to get back to playing footy. And if you play well, it it goes away. And we saw that. So yeah, yeah well, you responded beautifully. Um, and so did Kane Corns. He dyed his hair blonde. So when you saw that, uh, how did you feel about yeah, that? That goes all right. <laughs> yeah, it does go all right. But obviously, you dyed the hair blonde. And I just don't know whether you're completely aware whether we inspired you but we mm. actually blaze the trail for you to walk on both Caden and I at different points of our adolescence and young adulthood <laughs> decided to venture in the hair uh, yeah. blonde hair territory if you could just give us a quick judgment on our so efforts yeah. rate us out of 10 and we'll see whose is better so this is so this is me first up looking a bit like Goku <laughs> yeah that's that's a bit yellow that's a bit too yellow <laughs> yeah. a bit urine yellow that's not, that's not bad though <laughs> I, I love the I love it though All right. anyone who got 10 
Uh, Ted, oh, I can tell you what. Jeez, jeez, tough to beat. That's going to take If some you beating. thought that was yellow, I can't wait for you to see more this. yellow than Coldplay. Also, also, <laughs> when I had this haircut, so my mate, we got into like having haircuts at home, yeah. um, and we were inspired by Sergio Aguero, who had this haircut that it wasn't the short back and sides that stopped to here. He cut it sort of in the middle of his head, so that's why half <laughs> my scalp is missing. And then we went blonde as well. Not good, is it? <laughs> can't be a ten, Jack. Talk us through. It so can't what, be a ten. What do you think about yeah, that? That's uh, that's in some good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just can't be a ten, surely. Jesus. Oh, you look like you should be. Down by the train station, <laughs> like asking for darts of yeah, kids. That's uh, yeah, that's in some good areas. So. Um, <laughs> funnily <laughs> enough, I'd never had much luck with uh, the ladies before, and that was in like the Justin Bieber era when he'd just gone blonde. And what do you mean? And sorry came out, and for some reason, sort of in the dark, deep depths of Lammies, it, it, it sort of helped a little yeah, bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I noticed that you didn't give him a rating. Was that by design? That was a purposeful decision. Yeah, we'll just leave that. Yeah, way. we'll leave it out there. Uh, we absolutely love the way you go about your football, uh, especially in the small forward, that pressure, that antagonistic type style. Um, is that the style of footy that really brings out the best in yourself? Yeah, 100%. I love getting under the people's skins. It's sort of, sort of what makes the game enjoyable, I feel like. Um, <laughs> My favourite player was Toby Green before I got drafted. So, um, you know what he does. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, taking a leaf out of his book. Um, yeah, I love just, you know, getting under people's skin, making it fun. Um, if they bite back, getting a 50 against GWS. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was great. Um, I wish Johnny kicked the goal. But, um, yeah, just stuff like that. Is, uh, it really lifts the team up, I feel like, as well. Do you premeditate any of the antics? Like you think, all oh, right, if I kick a monster goal, I'm going to go the short, or I'm going to hold the ball out when I'm running in, or does that just happen live in the moment? <laughs> yeah, I think well, a lot of them happen live in the moment. The the Essendon shush, I already knew I was going to. Do yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, um, that, yeah. That's the one where I knew I was turning straight around and trying to <laughs> shut up. Um, but yeah, like the Freo one was. Yeah, like I said, you're 19 and you're kicking a goal over in Freo when there's 40,000 and you're beating the best side in the comp nearly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, just yeah, playing off instinct and doing whatever. Have you got anything in store for us next? And if I could make a suggestion, something I don't think we see enough in the football landscape <laughs> is a bit of a, mate, your shoelaces are untied and then just bang the flick up the nose. <laughs> I reckon that'd, that'd probably catapult you into the start of it. Yeah, that, that'd probably be a bit too much. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably get out of that'd probably I'm, be, uh, you know... Uh, uh, Weeks for, for touching Oh yeah high, true. Potentially. Prohibited yeah. contact <laughs> I'll do the Gabriel Jesus celebration soon Which one's that I'm a the, EPL man the call, Oh, the oh yeah That'll be good yeah. That's a late So maybe Probably not against North Because who yeah. cares about that <laughs> <laughs> But maybe in a big But game. moving on Yeah, yeah. It was It was go-